Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the Ampex ATR102 on vocals. Um, and we're going to focus on an effect called ADT, which is automatic double tracking. And this was invented during the Beatles tracking sessions because uh, I think it's something to do with the fact that they were being lazy and uh, wanted to uh, not bother recording so many doubles, which is understandable if that's true. Um, but there's a couple of ways of going about it. What I like to do is actually to use it uh, on two tracks um, and then you affect each track individually um, and that means you can actually pan the tracks apart from each other and get something a bit wider. So let's just take a listen to the vocals on its own just at this uh, bridgey chorus bit after that guitar solo we just had a look at. Now as we the silence of the sea Feathers as your own then to the Okay, it, again it's a little bit uh, a bit weak. Uh, not to it's not about the performance this week, it's about where it's sitting in the mix. I want a bit more of an impact. Um, there's not much going on in terms of final mix here anyway, so obviously the overall thing will be compressed and sound a bit more aggressive. But for now I want to kind of up the level and kind of up the um the meat of the vocals really and what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate uh the vocal track uh, i'm doing this in ableton live you can do this in any daw all these tricks and um, tips can be done in any daw really um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put an instance of ampex on each track okay so let's close the what's it so now two um now this the, the vocals are a bit Essie. Um that's just how it was recorded, that's how I got the mix. Um and again this track's um kind of psychedelic, so going a bit more for an effect here. So again I can afford to take it all the way down to three point seven five inches per second on each tape machine and drive the actual tape distortion effect up a bit on both machines. And that might be a bit loud, so let's take the volumes down on those two channels about there otherwise we're gonna blow our speakers up now as we rise above the silence of as you can tell it sounds like there's a bit of a wow and flutter going on somewhere anyway um so 3.75 and let's use our trusty triple one tape uh quarter inch uh which we can only use and again triple one and let's go into here let's turn the wow and flutter off this one and what we're going to do is on this one open it up and turn the wow and flutter keep it on on this one turn it off on this one keep it on uh, and then turn the delay to a hundred percent wet and now what we do is keep the millisecond down a bit so the actual whole signal is delayed basically you can do this within a daw you can nudge it forward but the fact that you can do this with the tape plugin means that this is a this can be universally applied across any daw so let's move it up uh, to about 20 so that means now it should be delayed when we play it back now as we rise above the silence of the sea it's not massively delayed, but where my feathers as your own. Okay, but what we want to do now is also, and we're going to wow and flutter this a bit. So the wow will be the slower of the frequency oscillation. So now you should get a bit of. Now as we rise above the silence of the sea. It's starting to sound like two voices now. Where my feathers. But it sounds like it's in a, in a in a tunnel. So what we're going to do is actually pan them left and right. We might up the delay a bit as well. And also on the other tape machine, I'm going to turn the wow flutter on, have a bit of wow on that one as well. So they're really contrasting each other now. A bit of flutter as well on this one. And now what you're getting is two, almost what you'd get if you'd had two different vocal takes. Um, so let's have a listen. Now as we rise above the silence of the city Where my feathers as your own So now that has 
a bit more impact and is convincingly, in my opinion, uh, sounds like two takes uh, and it saves you the uh, hassle of recording too. So that's something you just, again, want to kind of mess around with. Uh, I'd probably even up the delay a bit more just to kind of get the voices a bit more separated. Uh, and But again, experiment, uh, different tape types, calibrations, all sorts of things uh, to craft your sound right to the to the nth degree. <laughs> 